हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मिस्टर भरत शेलके असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर वर्किंग एट एम यू पी समाज आर्ट्स साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज ओजरमिक नासिक इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इयरस इन अ क्वांटिटेटिव एनालिसिस इन दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन स्पेसिफिकली एक्यूरेसी एंड प्रेसिजन सी the accuracy and precision and before that see the meaning of quantitative analysis and then we will go the errors in quantitative analysis now see what is the quantitative analysis quantitative means the how much amount of that particular substance is present that is known as quantitative so in terms of analytical chemistry how much amount of that particular substance is present in the given sample that is called as quantitative analysis now see it concerned with the determination of how much amount of substance present in a sample so this is the simplest meaning of quantitative analysis in terms of analytical chemistry that means that particular substance in what amount is present how much exact amount is present that is called as quantitative analysis that means how much milligram how much gram or when we discuss in terms of volume then how much ml so this is the quantitative analysis quantitative analysis is used to measure physical properties that means it is used mass it is used volumes it is used to major electrical potential as well as the adsorption of radiation so these are the some few examples when we discuss about the quantitative analysis now see first example suppose we are doing analysis by using the volumetric that means that is known as titrometric analysis we are doing the titration and then we got the reading 10 ml so that is the quantity 10 ml reading is the quantitative analysis now second example suppose we are weighing the sample on balance and its weight is 2.437 g then it is called as again the quantity so it is in g the mass is given in g and that is a gravimetry and therefore it is a quantitative analysis then suppose we are doing the elemental detection from organic compound and we found that the nitrogen that is 11.32% so this percentage of nitrogen present in the given compound so this is again a quantity that means quantity means the how much amount of that particular substance is present that is called as quantitative analysis now when we are going to do the quantity calculate the can quantity then sometimes the expected value is not observed that means suppose we are doing the titration and in that titration expected value is 10 ml but the 10 ml value is not obtained maybe sometimes other than 10 ml value is got so this is the error and in this video we are going to explain the same what is meaning of errors and why the error is occur now see the some introductory part of errors in a quantitative analysis it is the uncertainty occurred in the measurement that means if we are doing the any measurement we are doing the any analysis quantitative analysis then sometimes the uncertainty is occur and that is the error that means this is not a mistake but it occurs due to the methods due to the operation due to the person due to the chemicals due to the any other reasons and this error is known to be the uncertainty and which is occur in the measurement sometimes we cannot understand why this error is occurred but they may be in small but they occurred it may be extremely small but it occurs that means suppose we are doing the titration and again 10 ml reading is expected and if the reading is 9.8 9.9 9 
so this very small difference but it occurs maximum time it occurs and again it is not due to that person it have a number of reasons but it is small but it occurs so that is the error or it is known as uncertainty the error is occurred due to the methods due to the apparatus chemicals as well as due to the person who are going to do the experiment so these are the some reasons by which error is occur then every physical measurement is subject to a certain degree of uncertainty that means if we are going to do the every physical measurements that means if we are going to weigh the substance on a balance if we are going to do the volumetric analysis as well as we are going to the gravimetry as well as we are going to the any analysis or any physical measurement then and then some type of degree of uncertainty is observed certain degrees observed and this is called as errors then the determination and minimization of some kinds of errors are difficult see why this error is occur so the determination of this is very difficult and minimization of that particular error is again difficult but some of the errors can be identified can be rectified and can be minimized but some specific errors cannot be easily determined and cannot be easily minimized they are very difficult to find out then when we discuss the errors in a quantity analysis then there are basically two terms first one is accuracy and second one is precision so see the first accuracy and precision so this is the most important concepts when we understand the errors now see the accuracy accuracy means simply the your true value and observed values are very closer see the definition the degree of agreement between the measured value and true value of the measurement so there is very closeness between the measured value and true value that means both values are very similar very close then we can say there is accuracy in the measurement that means again in volumetric analysis 10 ml reading is expected and your reading is 9.9 or maybe near to 10 then it is accuracy but if the reading is far away from the 10 ml then it is not accuracy that means there is no closeness or there is no degree of agreement between measured value and true value and therefore there is no accuracy and if there is a closeness or if there is a degree of agreement between measured and true value then it is a accuracy that means your value expected value is closer so accuracy relates to the closeness of a measurement to the accepted correct value accuracy relates to the closeness of measurement to the accepted correct value and accuracy always expressed in terms of relative error when we discuss the accuracy then it is always expressed in terms of relative error so this is about the accuracy so accuracy is simply the degree of agreement between measured value and true value now we are going to explain precision precision is somewhat different than the accuracy what is the precision the degree of agreement between the replicate measurements of the same quantity see the degree of agreement between the replicate measurements of same quantity or reproducibility of number of similar measurements under identical conditions that means the calculated value may be not related may be not closer to the actual value but how many times we have calculated we have find out that value experimentally and that is similar so that is called as precision that means expected value is 10 ml in volumetric analysis but after the many times of titrations so we got the reading 8 ml after four titrations again the same reading 8 ml is observed that means that is a precision that is not accurate value but that is a precise value that is a precision so that is the 
degree of agreement between replicate measurements when we do the number of measurements number of times we are doing that experiment but every time we got the same reading we got the same answer and that is known as precision but it is also called as reproducibility of number of similar measurements under identical conditions that is called as precision so precision relates to the reproducibility of the measurement and precision always expressed in terms of mean deviation or relative mean deviation so it is expected is expressed in terms of mean deviation and relative mean deviation now see the some examples which describes the accuracy and precision what is accuracy and what is what is precision so by explaining this example we can understand what is the precision and what is the accuracy now suppose there are four persons namely person a person b person c person d these four persons are doing titrations see this is the reading 14 15 16 17 18 19 these are the ml of burette solutions okay so these are the readings in ml so four persons are doing the volumetric analysis four persons got a different readings they repeated the experiment four times and noted the observations so this a have done the experiment four times and got this reading this b got this reading the person c got this reading person d got this reading so there are four persons who are doing the experiment volumetric analysis or they are doing the titrations and they got the four readings different four readings now the expected or true value must be 17 ml now look toward the graph expected value is 17 ml now see which person has accuracy and which person has a precision see the first person a first person a got a one reading near 17 ml and another three readings are in between 18 and 19 ml see the person a first reading is in between is around 17 and other readings are in between 17 and sorry 18 and 19 ml this is about the a so we can say this is not accurate and also it does not have precision see there is no accuracy and there is no precision then person b expected value is 17 ml but the person b got the reading find out the reading observe the reading in between 15 and 16 now see these readings are not very accurate but they are very closer we can say there is a closeness between the measurements that means the replicate measurements see so person b does not have a good accuracy but it have good precision person b got four readings and these four readings are very closer see this they are very closer in between 15 and 16 that means person b has a poor accuracy but good precision while person a poor accuracy and poor precision now see the person c now person c again have a good accuracy see the results or the obtained values are near to 17 so one reading is almost 17 the two readings are again closer to 17 and this is again 17 near to 17 that means it again person c also have a good accuracy and person d see the readings one is 16 then around near to 17 then in between 17 and 18 then 18 and 19 so that means so there is a again not a properly accurate values so when we explain the accuracy and precision 
so then see this person have a good accuracy and this person have a good precision accuracy means the true value and observed values are very closer and precision means the replicate measurements degree of replicate measurements and how many times the experiments have carried out all that times got the same readings and that is the precision now see the person a has a poor precision and poor accuracy why because the expected reading is 17 ml but that person does not have accuracy and does not have precision so therefore poor precision and poor accuracy so what about b person whether good accuracy or good precision or both are poor good precision but poor accuracy why good precision because four values are very closer to each other but they are not accurate to expected value so therefore person b has good precision and poor accuracy then what about person c just guessed what about person c good precision and good accuracy see good precision nearly or exactly 17 ml and these values are very close so therefore good precision and good accuracy very correct guess now what about the person d whether the person d has a good accuracy and good precision or poor accuracy and poor precision what about the person d so when we think about the person d then it is poor precision but good accuracy why good accuracy because these two readings are very closer to 17 ml and poor precision that means all the four readings are different and therefore it is a poor precision so by using this example we are going to explain the difference between accuracy and precision so accuracy means the closeness between the true value and major value maybe sometimes these values are very closer so therefore that is the accuracy and precision means so to replicate measurements number of measurements and every time the these measurements are very similar so that is known as precision so this is the difference between accuracy and precision so thank you so much for watching this video